What's your name? Type it in. S E A N N N N N N N N N Hi, Sean. When is your birthday? Click on the arrows to find the month. Then click. We're going to have so much fun, and there's. Let's make a calendar. Fire station.
Let's play a game. Let's make sure we have everything. Props? Hey! Costumes? We've got them. Scripts? Ah, A-OK! -okay. Music? Check. OK. Let's go home and get a good night's sleep. See you bright and early tomorrow. It's going to be a busy day. So, they think they can do the show without me, huh? They didn't think my ideas were good enough, huh? Well, I'll fix it so they won't even have a show. Then they'll see things my way. I'll show them! <laughs> be mean enough to ruin our show. What'll we do? Oh no, everything's gone. We can't panic. Let's think. We could ask Papa Bear to make new costumes. Yes, Pierre could compose new music. Yes, Babs could help build new sets. Yes, and Professor Owl can write new scripts. Yes, it just might work. Here we are at the town square. Who should we visit first? Hey, Rito Rabbit, I sure am glad to see you. What's going on, Stanley? Hey, I've got to put these animals in the right scene. Help me find the one that doesn't belong, okay? Sure. Good catch. A scorpion goes in the desert scene. What was I thinking? You'll find Babs back there. Well, hi there, Reader Rabbit. Babs, I've got some bad news. All the sets you made for the variety show tonight are gone. What? Without the sets, I won't be able to be the princess and wear my crown in the play tonight. Oh, no! Oh, but I've dreamed about being a princess. Don't worry, Babs. We can have a show if we hurry and make new sets and props. Can you help me? You're darn right I can. They don't call me a busy beaver for nothing. <laughs> we build new sets here, and we sort props over there. Ready? Sure, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, reader, we need to rebuild all of our sets. If you do the measuring, I'll do the building. All right, Babs, that's a deal. I'm going to need pieces measured in rabbit feet, moose feet, and bear feet. Click on the stamp that has the same type of foot I ask for. I need the one that's three rabbit feet high. Rabbit foot. Now, measure each piece to find the size we need to build the set. Each time you click on a building piece, you put a footprint on it. Keep clicking on the building piece until the footprints go from the bottom to the top. Then, count how many feet you needed. When you find the right piece, put the stamp back. Then, drag the right piece to the set. This will fit perfectly. Find the piece that is two bare feet tall. Barefoot. Just what I need. Five. 
find me the piece that is one moose foot tall. Moose foot. Well, this should do the trick. Which piece is six rabbit feet long? Rabbit foot. This will fit perfectly. What do you think? Whoa, it's beautiful. Charlie's going to be happy to see this. Ta-da! I need the one that's three bare feet high. Bare. Just what I need. Find the piece that is three moose feet tall. Moose foot. Well, this should do the trick. Find me the piece that is nine rabbit feet tall. Rabbit foot. This will fit perfectly. Which piece is one bare foot long? Bare foot. Just what I need. Well, would you look at that? Babs, you're amazing. Okay. I need the one that's two and a half moose feet high. Moose foot. Well, this should do the trick. Find the piece that is two rabbit feet tall. Rabbit foot. This will fit perfectly. Find me the piece that is two bare feet tall. Bare foot. Just what I need. Which piece is one moose foot long? Moose foot. Let's see. We need a shorter piece. You should measure another one. Moose foot. Well, this should do the trick. Here it is. Wow, it looks really ancient. Everyone will love it. Aha! Uh -huh. I need the one that's four rabbit feet high. Rabbit foot. This will fit perfectly. Find the piece that is one 
barefoot tall. But just what I need. Find me the piece that is three moose feet tall. Moose foot. Well, this should do the trick. Which piece is three rabbit feet long? Rabbit foot. This will fit perfectly. Hey, look at that. A shipwreck. Wow, cool. Shazam! They'll never replace everything in time. At 8 o'clock tonight, the theater will be full, and they won't be able to put on the show. Then I'll be a star, and there's nothing they can do about it. <laughs> we have everything we need from here. Let well, we're getting there. Great. Okay, let's go. There's a whole bunch of animal props in my storage room. Maybe you could help me sort through them and find stuff we could use in the show. Okay, Babs. What do we need to do? I'll send some animals out down below and you get behind the controls. I'm ready. Find four animals that fit this description and put them in the slots on the log. Each of these buttons controls a flipper. When an animal is lined up with the flipper, press the button to move it up a row. Here we go. Find the animals that don't have legs. Oh, oh, anaconda. Great white shark. Oh, oh, blue tang. Sidewinder Snake. You found them! Here are all the animals that don't have legs. We can send these off to the theater right away. Pick the animals that have a tail. Red squirrel. Oh, oh, great white shark. Oh, oh, scorpion. Oh, oh, capuchin monkey. Nice sorting. Those are the animals that have a tail. Charlie's gonna be so happy to get these props. Send up the animals that are found in the water. Oh, oh, sea snail. Oh, oh, octopus. Oh, 
Oh, sea turtle. Oh, oh, sea star. There they are. Here are all the animals that are found in the water. There goes another batch of animals for the play. Okay, send up the animals that are found in the water and eat other animals. Oh, oh, crocodile. Oh, oh, great white shark. Oh, oh, octopus. Them. Those are the animals that are found in the water and eat other animals. We can send these off to the theater right away. Another hour less for Rita Rabbit. Look for the animals that have fur and eat plants. Oh, desert cottontail. Oh, oh, snowshoe hair. Oh, oh, kangaroo rat. that have fur and eat plants. Charlie's gonna be so happy to get these props. Find the animals that are mammals and eat other animals. Oh, oh, sea lion. the animals that are mammals and eat other animals. There goes another batch of animals for the play. Pick the animals that are found in the forest and have a tail. Oh, oh, wolf. Mountain lion. Oh, oh, big horn sheep. Oh, oh, 
goat, red squirrel. You found them! Here are all the animals that are found in the forest and have a tail. We can send these off to the theater right away. Send up the animals that are found in the forest and eat plants. Moose. Oh, oh, big horn sheep. Oh, oh, red squirrel. Oh, oh, snowshoe hare. Nice sorting. Those are the animals that are found in the forest and eat plants. Charlie's going to be so happy to get these props. <laughs> we have everything we need from here. Let's check the list to see what we still need. Okay. Good job, reader. We're finished here. Uh, go finish up the other places and we'll have a show. Okay, Babs. I'm on my way. See ya. We're making excellent progress. Which way next? I can't believe it! It's Rita Rabbit! I've seen all your plays, and I've got a scrapbook of your pictures. Will you autograph one for me, please? Sure! Sign the one showing you staying. Uh-oh, what's that noise? Thanks, you sure were acting afraid in that picture. Hello, Rita Rabbit, my friend! Pierre, all the music and billboards you created for the show are missing. What? My billboards? My music? They are gone? Without music, the band won't know what to play. And what about Matt's big dance number? If we hurry, we can fix things for tonight's show. Ah, oh, yes, yes! This show must go on! We can paint new billboards over here, and you can help me with music and Matt's dance number over here. Okay, Pierre, let's get to work. Ah, you want to paint billboards for the show. Fantastic! Choose any billboard to work on up here. Choose your brush, pencil, fill bucket, or eraser over here. Pick your colors here and create your billboard here. Click here to see the different stickers to use on your billboard. When you are finished with a billboard, you can see it out on the road. Remember, we need to make all four billboards for the show tonight. If we do a good job, more people will know about the show. And if you need help, I will be working right here. For Babs Woodshop. Voila. <gasps> Uh. 
and ya. For Professor Owl's treehouse. Voila! La 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 Aïe! For Papa Bear Store. <laughs> For my studio. Once people see your new work, they will be curious about the show. 
<laughs> Four hours have gone by, and they only have part of what they need. They'll never get it all by tonight. I'll show them. <laughs> Rita, just a few more things, and we will be done. Ah, oh, Rita Rabbit. Matt and I are so happy that you can help us with the music for tonight. Matt, my friend, please tell Reader what we need to do. Okay, Pierre needs help to finish the music for each instrument. The songs for tonight are missing some notes. Pierre will play part of a song and then you need to play back the notes. Don't forget to fill in the missing notes. Okay, listen. Magnifique! Try this one! Superb! Listen to this! That's not quite it. Let's try again. Not quite. Yes! A one and a two. Never you. Three blind mice. Nice tune. Perfect. Our music for the piano is ready. Here's a new song. Splendid! Here is the next little bit. Perfect. Now, try this part. Extraordinaire! Try this one! Fantastic! Twinkle, twinkle, little star. What a dynamite dance number! Ah, this will be just right for the acoustic bass. Here is the next one.
Ah, oh, formidable! Listen to this! A one and a two. Yes, here is the next little bit. Splendid! This old man. Groovy music. Yes, yes! Our music for the violin is ready for the show. Guess the name of this song. Magnifique! Now, try this part. Excellent! Try this one! Extraordinaire! Listen to this! Fantastic! Old Grey Mare! Wonderful song! Ah, a great tune for the trombone! Tick tock, tick tock, the clock is running, and they can't stop it! Soon, I'll show them who the real star is! Do you know this song? Splendid! A one and a two. Fabulous! Here is the next little bit.
Superb. Now, try this part. Ah, oh, formidable! Are you sleeping? I like this beat. Perfect! A wonderful melody for the trumpet. Okay, listen. Extraordinaire! Try this one! Merveilleux! Listen to this! Splendid! A one and a two. Fabulous! Polly Wally Doodle. Great music for dancing. Excellent, excellent, my friend! This melody is ideal for the saxophone. Listen closely. Superb! Here is the next little bit. Très bien. Now, try this part. Merveilleux. Try this one. Extraordinaire! Three blind mice. Sweet song. Oh, that is beautiful! Our music for the flute is ready! Listen to this song. Fantastic! Listen to this! Splendid! A one and a two. Whoop. 
superb. Here is the next little bit. Excellent! Blow the man down. This is a tune I can dance to. Très bien! The song for the clarinet is ready! <laughs> we have everything we need from here. Let's check the list to see what we still need. Guess the name of this song. Ah, oh, at last we are finished. Magnificent work, my friend. Now, check with Monsieur Charlie to see if there is more work to do. I'm on my way. Goodbye. Au revoir. Maybe we should check the stage to see what we need. I'll take care of all the things here as you find them. Click on my list to see what you still need. And click on the things on stage to hear about them. These are called sets. They make the stage look like a particular place. Like a town, or a castle, or even a jungle. They're usually made of wood or cardboard and are painted by set makers, like you. Here are the musical instruments the band needs for tonight. The band plays music for the singers and actors on stage. These are called sets. They make the stage look... This group is the props. Props are the things that actors use or carry on stage, such as books or food or cups. They can be real or simply wood or plastic things made to look real. Props can be large or small, like a horse or a pencil. We're back at the town square again. Which way should we go? On the shell of each turtle is a day of the week. Put them in the proper order and you can cross the creek. The days of the week are all in a row. Now you can cross the river and go, go, go. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Hello, Reader Rabbit. Papa Bear, we have a problem. All the costumes you made for the variety show are gone. Oh my, what will we do? The show needs those costumes. Oh, Dad! How can you be a knight in shining armor without the armor? That's why I'm here. If we hurry, we can make new costumes by tonight. Will you help me? Sure. Let's check what's in the store over here and see if the costumatic has what we need over there. Great! Let's get started. The show opens tonight. All right, here we go. Welcome to the Costumatic, the coin operated costume dispenser. It's easy to make an outfit. Click on the arrows to see the costumes you can get. Click on the item you wish to buy. A fine selection. To purchase, please put in 30, 4, Cents. Exact change only, please. Oh. Thank you. Ah, delightful costume. To purchase, please put in 15 cents. Thank you! At 
excellent choice. To purchase, please put in five cents. Thank you. A fine selection. To purchase, please put in fourteen cents. We need to put coins. Thank you. A wonderful costume. You'll be a real hit at the show. Oh, yeah. It looks cool. Come on. Let's make the rest of the costumes. Ah, delightful costume. To purchase, please put in ten cents. Thank you. Excellent choice. To purchase, please put in sixty nine cents. You. A fine selection. To purchase, please put in sixty cents. Thank you. Ah, delightful costume. To purchase. Please put in forty two cents. Thank you. Your fans will love this. Oh, yeah, it looks cool. Come on. Let's make the rest of the costumes. Excellent choice. To purchase, please put in one dollar. Thank you. A fine selection. To purchase, please put in eighty three cents. Thank you. Ah, delightful costume. To purchase, please put in eighty six cents. Thank you. Excellent choice. To purchase, Please put in ninety nine cents. Thank you. Ah, a very handsome outfit. Please come back again. Make the rest of the costumes. A fine selection. To purchase, please put in eighty five cents. Uh, oh. Thank you. Ah, delightful costume. To purchase, Please put in sixty one cents. Thank you.
Thank you. Excellent choice. To purchase, please put in 75 cents. Thank you. A fine selection. To purchase, please put in 70 cents. Thank you. Well done. You'll look like a star. Oh, yeah. It looks cool. Come on, let's make the rest of the costumes. Hmm, they're getting more things than I thought they would. But they'll never get everything. No way! I'm still gonna be the star of the show! We have everything we need from here. Let's check the list to see what we still need. Thanks for helping, Re All right, here we go. We have lots of neat stuff in my store. Help us figure out how many things we have. I'm sure we can find great costumes for the show. Baby Bear will find the things we need to count. I'll show the problem on the clipboard. Then, you need to type the answer on your keyboard. Okay, Baby Bear. What do we have up there? Well... We have five eyeglasses. In all. And four of the eyeglasses are blue. How many red eyeglasses does that leave? Hmm. One. Okay. Get the next one ready, baby bear. Hmm. We have three green bow ties and two blue bow ties. What does that add up to? Hmm. Five. That's our number. What's next, Baby Bear? Let's see. We have three party masks in all. And two of the party masks are blue. How many red party masks does that leave? Hmm. One. Okay. Get the next one ready, Baby Bear. Well, we have two green fake lips and five blue fake lips. Gee, Reader, how many is that in all? Hmm. Seven. That's our number. Oh, here's a neat costume. <laughs> That's perfect for Bab's part in the show. What's next, Baby Bear? Hmm. We have 13 squirting daisies in all and two of the Squirting daisies are blue. How many red squirting daisies does that leave? Hmm. Eleven. Okay. Get the next one ready, Baby Bear. Let's see. We have three. Green baller hats and 13 
blue bowler hats. Gee, reader, how many is that in all? Hmm. Sixteen. That's our number. What's next, baby bear? Well, we have nineteen eyeglasses in all and six of the eyeglasses are blue how many red eyeglasses does that leave hmm 11 that looks like too few 13 okay Get the next one ready, baby bear. Hmm. We have one green bow tie and 16 blue bow ties. What does that add up to? Hmm. 17. That's our number. Oh, I know who needs that. What's next, baby bear? Let's see. We have 18 fake lips in all. And four of the fake lips are blue. How many red fake lips? Does that leave? Hmm. Fourteen. Okay. Get the next one ready, baby bear. Well, we have two green squirting daisies and eight blue squirting daisies. Gee, reader. How many is that in all? Hmm. Ten. That's our number. What's next, baby bear? Hmm. We have fourteen party masks in all. And three of the party masks are blue. How many? Red party mask. Does that leave? Hmm. Eleven. Okay. Get the next one ready, baby bear. Let's see. We have seven green bowler hats and two blue bowler hats. And two orange baller hats. Gee, reader, how many is that in all? Hmm. Eleven. That's our number. Look at this one, reader. <laughs> all right. Super Rabbit. What's next, baby bear? Well, we have 19 bow ties in all, and two of the bow ties are blue. How many red bow ties does that leave? Hmm. 17. Okay. Get the next one ready, baby bear. Hmm. We have eight green eyeglasses and four blue eyeglasses and seven orange eyeglasses. What does that add up to? Hmm.
19. That's our number. What's next, baby bear? Let's see. We have 17 fake lips in all and 15 of the fake lips are blue. How many red fake lips does that leave? Hmm. Two. Okay. Get the next one ready, baby bear. Well, we have five green party masks and one blue party mask and one orange party mask. Gee, reader, how many is that in all? Hmm. Seven. That's our number. How about this one, partner? <laughs> Penelope sure will look funny in that. Rats! Reader Rabbit is replacing all the stuff! They might be able to put on the play after all. What's next, baby bear? Hmm. We have 18 squirting daisies in all and 12 of the squirting daisies are blue. How many red squirting daisies does that leave? Hmm. Six. Okay. Get the next one ready, baby bear. Let's see. We have four green baller hats and three blue baller hats and three orange baller hats. Gee, reader, how many is that in all? Hmm. Ten. That's our number. What's next, baby bear? Well, we have sixteen bow ties in all, and ten of the bow ties are blue. How many red bow ties does that leave? Hmm. Six. Okay. Get the next one ready, baby bear. Hmm. We have 13 green eyeglasses and two blue eyeglasses and two orange eyeglasses. What does that add up to? Hmm. Seventeen. That's our number. Here's a nice outfit. Perfect. I know just what to do with it. What's next, baby bear? Let's see. We have fifteen party masks in all. And... Fourteen of the party masks are blue. How many red party masks does that leave? Hmm. One. Okay. Get the next one ready, baby bear. Well, we have eleven green. Squirting daisies and one blue squirting daisy and two orange squirting daisies. Gee, reader, how many is that in all? Hmm. 
14. That's our number. What's next, baby bear? Hmm. We have 14 fake lips in all. And nine of the fake lips are blue. How many red fake lips does that leave? Hmm. Five. Okay. Get the next one ready, baby bear. Let's see. We have three green bow ties and four blue bow ties and one orange bow tie. Gee, reader, how many is that in all? Hmm. Eight. That's our number. How about this one? Whoa, will I look cool in this or what? What's next, baby bear? Well, we have 13 eyeglasses in all. And three of the eyeglasses are blue. How many red eyeglasses does that leave? Hmm. Ten. Okay. Get the next one ready, baby bear. Hmm. We have six green bowler hats and five blue bowler hats and one orange bowler hat. What does that add up to? Hmm. Twelve. That's our number. What's next, baby bear? Let's see. We have seventeen squirting daisies in all. And thirteen of the squirting daisies are blue. How many red squirting daisies? Does that leave? Hmm. Four. Okay. Get the next one ready, baby bear. Well, we have four green party masks and nine blue party masks and five orange party masks. Gee, reader, how many is that in all? Hmm. Eighteen. That's our number. Oh, I like this one. This is just what we need for Matt's number. What's next, baby bear? Hmm. We have 12 fake lips in all, and 7 of the fake lips are blue. How many red fake lips does that leave? Hmm. 5. Okay. Get the next one ready, baby bear. Let's see. We have two green eyeglasses and two blue eyeglasses and seven orange eyeglasses. Gee, reader, how many is that in all? Hmm. Eleven. That's our number. 
what's next, baby bear? Well, we have 19 bowler hats in all and 17 of the bowler hats are blue. How many red bowler hats does that leave? Hmm. Two. Okay. Get the next one ready, baby bear. Hmm. We have one green bow tie and one blue bow tie and two orange bow ties. What does that add up to? Hmm. Four. That's our number. Ooh, what do you think of this? Oh, I know who needs that. Rats! Reader Rabbit is replacing all the stuff! They might be able to put on the play after all! We have everything we need from here. Good job, Reader. We're finished here. If you finish up the other places... All right, here we go. Let's see some more. Good job, Reader. We're finished here. If you finish up the other places, the show will go on. Okay, Papa Bear. I'm on my way. Goodbye. Good luck. What should we do next? Welcome to my humble home. It's quite a lovely place. To enter, pick the proper letter to fill the empty space. Um, which letter do I choose to spell the word for this picture? B O X spells box. Brilliant, my friend. Please, do come in. <laughs> Greetings, Reader Rabbit. Do come in. Professor Owl, the scripts you wrote for the show tonight are gone. Heavens, that means there's no show. But the comedy routine I was going to do with my big cream pie, now no one will get to see it. We still have time to rewrite those scripts if we hurry. Can you remember what you wrote? Yes, possibly, possibly. But I do need help with the writing over here. And I also need your help coaching Penelope for the play over here. She needs a lot of work. I'm ready. We don't have much time, so let's get going. The scripts are almost done. But I need you to help me finish the last few sentences. Here's the list of words I think we should use, but I'm not sure where they go. Choose a word that completes the sentence. Then drag the word to the blank where it belongs. Click on a sentence to hear it read aloud. New. No. Hot. Excellent choice! Excellent! Nest. Hmm. Not quite. This sentence sounds confusing with nest in it. New. No. That's it! Matt walks in the desert. The desert is hot. A straw hat helps Matt stay cool. A roadrunner lands on the hat. Hey, why are you on my hat? Says Matt. I need a new home, says the roadrunner. Your hat is my new home.
seas. Right! Egg. Hmm, not quite. Egg does not... Shell. A fine word for this sentence. You cannot stay on my hat, says Matt. I will help you find a home. Matt sees a desert tortoise. Can you live in a shell like a tortoise? Asks Matt. I do not have a shell, says the roadrunner. Your hat is my new home. Help. A very proper choice of a word. Dig. Excellent choice. Excellent. You cannot stay on my hat, says Matt. I will help you find a home. Matt sees a kangaroo rat. Can you live in a hole like a kangaroo rat? Asks Matt. I cannot dig a hole, says the roadrunner. Your hat is my new home. Nest. That's it! My. I say, what a good word to use. You cannot stay on my hat says Matt. I will help you find a home. Matt sees some sticks on a cactus. Can you live in a nest on a cactus? asks Matt. I can live in a nest, says the roadrunner. Your hat is my old home. This nest is my new home. Oh, thank you, reader. This should help Charlie and the cast with final rehearsals. What? Hmm. Where? Right! Beach. A very proper choice of a word. Matt stands on the beach. The sand goes on and on. Where does the beach end? Asks Matt. I will find the end of the beach. Matt walks along the beach. She meets a crab. End. Hmm. Not water. A fine word for this sentence. Answer. Excellent choice. Excellent. She meets a crab. Do you know where the beach ends? Matt asks. The crab walks to the water. That crab does not know, says Matt. I wonder who knows the answer. She walks farther down the beach. You. That's it. The. I say, what a good word to use. She meets a sea otter. Do you know where the beach ends? Matt asks. The sea otter runs to the water. The sea otter does not know, says Matt. I wonder who knows the answer. Jumps. Hmm. Not thinks. A very proper choice of a word. See. Right! Matt sits down and thinks. I see where the beach ends, she says. The beach ends where the water begins. Matt runs down to the end of the beach. She plays in the ocean. Oh, that's it. We've got another one. Hat. Hmm. Not quite. Mask. Excellent choice. Excellent.
Water. A fine word for this sentence. Baby Bear and Papa Bear play at the beach. Papa Bear sits on a raft. Baby Bear puts on a mask and fins. I see an animal with eight arms, says Papa Bear. Baby Bear dives into the water. She finds an animal with eight arms. It is an octopus, yells Baby Bear. Floor. That's it! Top. Bottom. Round. A very proper choice of a word. I see an animal that is purple and round, says Papa Bear. Can you find it? Baby Bear takes a big breath. She dives to the ocean floor. She finds a purple round snail. Look, Papa Bear, it's a sea snail, says Baby Bear. Tails. Arms. I say, what a good word to use. Says. Excellent choice! Excellent! Now try to find an animal with five arms, says Papa Bear. Baby Bear looks through her mask. She sees an animal with five arms. It's a sea star, says Baby Bear, but it's stuck to the rock. Stairs. Right! Raft. A fine word for this sentence. Now it's your turn, says Baby Bear. I see an animal with a shell and claws. Papa Bear stares into the water. I do not see it, says Papa Bear. It's a lobster, says Baby Bear. And it just poked a hole in your raft. Help! yells Papa Bear. Another excellent story. Good work. Shop. That's it! Cut. I say, what a good word to use. Hi there, says Baby Bear. What are you doing? I'm cutting wood for my shop, says Babs. Can I cut wood too? Asks Baby Bear. Sorry, you're not big enough, says Babs. I am big enough, says Baby Bear. Paint. Excellent choice. Excellent. Hello. A very proper choice of a word. Hello there, says Baby Bear. What are you doing? I'm painting for the show, says Pierre. Can I paint too? Asks Baby Bear. Sorry, you're not big enough, says Pierre. I am big enough, says Baby Bear. Build. A fine word for... Okay. Right! Hi there, says Baby Bear. What are you doing? I'm building a swing, says Matt. Can I build too? Asks Baby Bear. Okay, says Matt. That. That's it! Small. I say, what a good word to use. What a great swing, says Baby Bear. Babs and Pierre walk by. 
Wow, that swing looks like fun, they say. Can we swing too? Sorry, you're not small enough, say Matt and Baby Bear. Well done, reader. I must say that makes a fine story for the show. I can't believe it. They've almost got all the stuff. They can't do this to me. That's not fair. How? What? Excellent choice! Excellent! How? A very proper choice of a word. Start. Right! Princess Babs sits next to her castle. Sir Lunchalot arrives at the castle. How are you doing, Princess? asks Sir Lunchalot. I lost my key, says Princess Babs. Do you want to help me find it? Where should we start? asks Sir Lunchalot. <laughs> Dropped. A fine word for this sentence. I can't quite remember at all, and I do so need your help. Cloud. Scare. That's it! I think I dropped the key in the forest, says Princess Babs. The forest? We won't be able to find it in there says Sir Lancelot. Don't be silly, says Princess Babs. Together we will find the key. And the dragon won't scare us at all. Dragon, says Sir Lancelot. From. Excellent choice! Excellent! Force. A very proper choice of a word. Suddenly, the dragon comes out from the forest. Sir Lunchalot sees the dragon. He becomes scared. Is the door really locked? Asks Sir Lunchalot. It sure is, says Princess Babs. Maybe you can force it open. Asks Sir Lunchalot. Princess Babs tries the door. Walks. Smashes. Hmm. Walks. I say, what a good word to use. Breaks. A fine word for this sentence. The dragon walks closer and closer. Sir Lancelot is really scared now. He runs towards the door. Oh! He yells and breaks the door down. The dragon walks up to Princess Babs. I think you lost your keys, says the dragon. Yes, brilliant! Another script ready to go. Keep. That's it! 
jumps. Excellent choice! Excellent! Matt walks in the desert. The desert is hot. A straw hat helps Matt keep cool. A road runner jumps on the hat. Hey, why are you on my hat? says Matt. I need a new home, says the road runner. Your hat is my new home. Home. A very proper choice of a word. Want. I say, what a good word to use. You cannot stay on my hat, says Matt. I will help you find a home. Matt sees a desert tortoise. Can you live in a shell like a tortoise? Asks Matt. I do not want a shell, says the roadrunner. Your hat is my new home. Get. A fine word for this sentence. Stay. Find. Hmm. Not quite. Eat. Hmm. Sock. Hmm. Find. Hmm. Matt sees a can. Can you? In a hole like a kangaroo rat? Asks Matt. Live. That's it! You cannot stay on my hat, says Matt. I will help you get a home. Matt sees a kangaroo rat. Can you live in a hole like a kangaroo rat? Asks Matt. I cannot dig a hole, says the road runner. Your hat is my new home. Twigs. Excellent choice. Excellent. Cactus. Right! You cannot stay on my hat, says Matt. I will help you find a home. Matt sees some twigs on a cactus. Can you live in a nest on a cactus? Asks Matt. I can live in a nest, says the roadrunner. Your hat is my old home. This cactus is my new home. Thank you, reader. Those were some well-chosen words for the story. Just a couple more stories and we'll have all our scripts ready. Cold. Hmm. Place. I say, what a good word to use. Fish. A fine word for this sentence. This place is no fun, says Spike. There's nothing to do here. Let's go fish in the river, says Matt. Yuck, fish are smelly, says Spike. But fish taste good, says Matt. I don't know how to fish, says Spike. I know, says Matt. We can take a hike in the... Hills. A very proper choice of a word. We. That's it! I know, says Matt. We can take a hike in the hills. Yuck! There are too many bugs, says Spike. But bugs are neat to watch, says Matt. We would get lost, says Spike. Swim. Right! Cold. Excellent choice! Excellent! I know, says Matt. We can swim in the lake. Yuck! The water is too cold, says Spike. But the sun will keep us warm, says Matt. The lake is too deep, says Spike.
Music. A fine word for this sentence. Great. I say, what a good word to use. I know, says Matt. We can sing around the campfire. Yuck. I don't know the music, says Spike. I don't know them either, says Matt. But we can learn them together. What a great idea, says Spike. I'm glad you thought of it. Nice work. I'm so glad you're here to help choose the right words. Picnic. That's it! Every. A very proper choice of a word. Today is Matt's picnic, and I can't wait. Everyone is coming, so don't be late. Bring a picnic basket, but watch what you pack. For this picnic, please put cheese in every snack. Like. Excellent choice. Excellent. Else. Right. Which cheese do you like? Maybe cheddar? Is Munster okay? Or is Swiss better? Yum. Cheese sandwiches. What else did you bring? That three cheese salad will make Maddie sing. Pizza. I say, what a good word to use. Eat. A fine word for this sentence. Here's some cheese pizza. Do you want cottage cheese? Take as much as you like. Eat as much as you please. Are you having fun? Have you filled your belly? If you said no, eat some cream cheese and jelly. Getting. That's it! Beneath. A very proper choice of a word. I'm so glad you came. Wait, I just felt a raindrop. The clouds are getting darker. Will we have to stop? No way! Come join Matt beneath her mouse umbrella. The rain won't stop us. Try the fried mozzarella. Oh, we've done it. Here's the final script we need for the show. I can't believe it. They've almost got all the stuff. They can't do this to me. That's not fair. We have everything. We do work so Penelope, how are we ever going to get you ready for our stage act? Professor Owl is such a worrywart. I can say my words. All I need is a little help. Penelope, you simply are not ready for the play tonight. Your pronunciation is atrocious. Yeah, and it isn't very good either. I just need more practice. With your help, I'll be ready for my part in the play. When Professor Owl says a word, Pick the cracker with the same beginning sound. Say the word ship. Ship. Yes, yes, that's perfect. Oh, thank you. Here's the next word. That. Hmm, that's not quite right. Now, listen closely. That. That. Oh, outstanding! Thank you, thank you. 
And the next word is chop. Chop. Well done. Oh, thank you. And now, spoon. Spoon. Excellent. Thank you, thank you. Excellent job, Penelope. Here's a little something for our comedy routine tonight. Oh, how does it work? Oh, I guess. Let's save it for tonight, shall we? Say the word ship. Ship. That's it. Oh, thank you. Here's the next word. Star. Char. Hmm. That doesn't sound quite right. Listen to the beginning of star. Star. All right. Thank you, thank you. And the next word is chop. Chop. Magnificent. Oh, thank you. And now, that. That. Yes, yes, that's perfect. Thank you, thank you. Well done, Penelope. What do you think of this prop? Oh, this? <laughs> oh, yes, that. Do be careful, will you? Say the word show. Show. Excellent. Oh, thank you. Here's the next word. Spoon. Spoon. Hmm, that's not quite right. Now, listen closely. Spoon. Spoon. Oh, outstanding! Thank you, thank you. And the next word is star. Star. Well done. Oh, thank you. And now, third. Third. Right. Thank you, thank you. We're making superb progress. Here's something else we might use tonight. Oh, let me see. <laughs> Say the word ship. Ship. Yes, yes, that's perfect. Oh, thank you. Here's the next word. Skate. Skate. Magnificent. Thank you, thank you. Listen to the ending of the word and click on the letters that make that sound. And the next word is crisp. Crisp. That's it. Oh, thank you. And now, first. First. Oh, capital. Thank you, thank you. Oh, wonderful. Now look at this. Can you guess how it works? Hmm, 
That's it. Oh no, they did it! My plans foiled again. You may think I'm not so nice, but before you do, think twice and listen to this sad, sad song of mine. My grumpiness is only because I'm sad and lonely, because no one wants to hug a porcupine. I'm covered all with stickers from my feet up to my fingers And when someone bumps into me, they sure know it So everyone avoids me, it really does annoy me And makes me feel crabby, and I show it Imagine what it's like to be someone prickly like me And have folks needle you all the time <laughs> Needle, get it? So I like to pop their bubbles and cause them lots of troubles Cause no one wants to hug a porcupine <gasps> Oh my! Everyone is waiting for the show! Is everything ready? Yes it is! Reader Rabbit saved the day! And the show looks great! But there's Reader. Welcome to opening night of the Big Wordville Show. <laughs> Papa Bear, Penelope Parrot, and Matt the Mouse are ready to perform. To see their act, just click on them. When you have seen all their acts, click on the curtain rope to end the show. If you don't know what to do, just click on me. And now, on with the show. All through the town of Wordville, folks are in a daze. There's no doubt they're wild about the latest dance and craze. First you put your foot out, heel and toe. Then slide your legs together and around you go. Curl up your whiskers, wiggle your knees. Clap your hands and flap your ears and sing out cheese. Put your right foot forward, step it out. Do it on the left and twirl about. Then grab your tail and bounce around and never stop. Cause we're doing the hippity mouse hop. Doing the hippity mouse hop. when you cross a clown with a goat. Hmm. A clown and a goat. Let me see. I don't know. A silly Billy! <laughs> Sir Lancelot, I am sending you on a quest. A rest? Great! Three months sounds about right. <laughs> no, no, I said a quest, not a rest. Oh, a quest? What for? Well, I've lost the key to my kingdom. I need the key to get into my castle. You and I are gonna find that key. Well, why don't we find you a new castle? <laughs> Park. Suddenly I feel a drop. Does that mean I have to stop? No, not me. I'm cozy as can be. Underneath my mouse umbrella. Here's a riddle for you, Penelope. Which side of a parrot has the most feathers? Well, let's see. I think maybe the left side? No, my dear. The outside! <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, 
We start our quest in the forest. The forest? Mm -hmm. And together we can defeat the fire-breathing <gasps> dragon. Oh. Does this dragon have green scales and horns? <laughs> Why, of course. And together we can confront the big antlered moose. Uh, does this moose have big sharp antlers? <laughs> Through the town of Wordville, folks are in a daze. There's no doubt. Knock, knock. Who's there? Pirate. Pirate who? Pirate in the face. <laughs> Off we go to the forest. Lead the way, Sir Lunchalot. Um, uh, Princess, maybe the door to your castle is unlocked. Why don't you try the door again? Don't be foolish. Are you coming with me or not? Oh, uh. oh I think it's time to find a new castle. <laughs> when you cross a clown with a goat. Hmm. A clown and a goat. Let me see. Sir Lancelot, I am sending you on a quest. A rest? Pick Papa Bear, Penelope, or Matt the Mouse to see a performance. Click on the curtain. We hope everyone enjoyed the show. Thank you all, and good night. We did it. We worked together today. We never quit. No, not a bit. And put on our play. So now's the time to celebrate and say hip hooray. Up in the tree. At first we were discouraged and feeling so sad. But now we're real happy. And that makes me mad. It's teamwork. It helped us save the day. So now we're feeling confident and we'd like to say that if we need to solve a problem, hey, we know the way. Yes, we know how. We did it. Yeah! Okay, here we are. That adventure is so much fun. Hey, Sean, remember, you can also paint a picture on the painting board if you want. This place is fun because you can paint pic mixing colors. Circle.
Erase. Paint. Pick a painting. Fun. I'm 
so glad you want to paint again. Pick a painting. Robots in Antarctica. And you want to do now? These are the names of the people who made these activities. Huh? 
hear the names of the Want to stop playing now and leave the clubhouse? See you later! 